Casey, Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thanks, Steve. KC Safety and Mission Assurance. KC Safety and Mission Assurance is go. Copy. Payload Launch Manager. Payload to go, Mike. Thank you, Gennaro. Range weather. Weather has no constraints to launch. Thank you, Kathy. And Ops Manager. The Launch Director, Ops Manager on 212, Mike. The MMT is not working any issues. You are go to launch. Okay. Thank you, sir. Endeavor Launch Director. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Okay, Fergie, the vehicle's in good shape, the weather's beautiful, and so on behalf of the entire shuttle launch team, good luck, Godspeed, and have a happy Thanksgiving on orbit. Kudos to your team, Mike. It's uh, our turn to take uh, home improvement to a new level uh, after 10 years of international space station construction. Endeavor's ready to go. Copy that. Thank you, sir. And to do with that, you are clear to proceed. I copy that. And attention on the net, we have 14 seconds left in our remaining hold here at 9. And NTD ISO. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. 3, 2, 1, mark. T minus 9 minutes and counting. TLS auto sequence has been initiated. TISL, go ahead. Recorder activation complete. Copy all. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus 8 minutes, 38 seconds and counting. The launch team verified that the inner door of the white room was not secured, but it's not a concern for launch. The crew has been briefed, all poles have been taken, and we are go for launch at 7.55 p.m. Eastern Time here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. OTC, connect essential buses to the fuel cells for your checklist. TLT's in work. OTC, PLT, essential buses connect to the fuel cell. Copy that. CLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. And Endeavor OTC had the great flight delivering Leonardo to the space station. The legacy of his discoveries rides with you as you continue the quest for knowledge. Godspeed. Endeavor copies all. Thanks, OTC. The orbiter access arm has now been retracted away from Endeavor. It's the walkway used by the crew to enter the shuttle and can be returned to the position within seconds if necessary. T minus six minutes, nine seconds and counting. We've received notification from Mission Control in Houston to start the orbiter flight recorders. The two recorders collect measurements of shuttle systems performance during the flight for playback after the vehicle is in orbit. OTC, TLT, three, great talk, Max. Copy all.
TLS is go for orbiter, APU start. TLT, OTC, perform APU start. TLT some work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. We have a go for APU start. The launch team has terminated liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank. It is now initiating LOX drain back. T-minus three minutes, 50 seconds and counting. The engines are being gimbaled into position for launch. T minus two minutes, 24 seconds and counting. The gaseous oxygen vent hood is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Endeavor OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. That is in work. T minus two minutes and counting. TLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour. T minus one minute and counting. T-minus 26 seconds, we have auto sequence set. 20. 15. 10. TLS is go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
booster ignition, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, preparing our home in space for a larger international family. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour roll program. Roger roll Endeavour. Commander Chris Ferguson confirming Endeavour is rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange distance six and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. down to 72% of the rate of thrust as the shuttle goes through the realm of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Altitude 5 miles, downrange 8 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Speed 1,500 miles an hour. Endeavor, go at throttle up. All systems remain go. Speed 2,000 miles an hour, altitude 10 miles, downrange distance 12 miles from Kennedy Space Center. It's one and a half minutes since launch. Endeavour has consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Standing by for burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters and jettison. Boostroff confirms a clean separation of the two solid rockets. Endeavour's three main engines continuing the second stage, accelerating with 37 million horsepower. Endeavour's two orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to help boost the shuttle into orbit. They'll fire for a one minute and 36 seconds. Altitude 440 miles. Two engine tail. That call means Endeavour can perform a transatlantic landing at, Moro at Zergos of Spain if required. Speed 4,000 miles an hour, altitude 44 miles, 73 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Three minutes, 30 seconds into Endeavour's flight. Speed 4,900 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles. Downrange 115 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good shuttle main engines. Endeavour, negative return. Return. That call indicates Endeavour is going too fast now to return to Kennedy Space Center for a landing if a problem should arise. Just under four minutes to the main engine cutoff. During that time, Endeavour is going to triple its speed to reach the 17,400 miles an hour needed to reach Earth orbit. Current speed, 6,000 miles an hour. Altitude, 62 miles. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Watching live television pictures from a camera mounted on the external tank of Endeavour. 
Altitude 66 miles, downrange 245 miles from Kennedy Space Center, speed 7,300 miles an hour. Endeavour, press to ATO. Press to ATO. Endeavour could now reach a lower than planned orbit, but a safe orbit on just two engines. Speed 8,000 miles an hour, 11,000 feet per second, altitude 67 miles, 300 miles east of Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour, single engine Ops 3. Single engine Ops 3. Endeavour could now perform a transatlantic landing on only one engine at 109% of rated thrust if required. Everything going well. Endeavour rolling to a heads up position now to assist its performance and communication links as it climbs to orbit. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Endeavour, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Endeavour traveling 10,000 miles an hour and the shuttle could reach its planned orbit on just two engines if necessary. Just under two minutes to main engine cutoff now. Altitude 66 miles. Endeavour, your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X. Shutdown plan nominal. Go for the plus X. Commander Chris Ferguson uh, getting the go-ahead for the plus X maneuver in which he will manually raise Endeavour's nose into a plus X position to allow handheld photography of the external tank using digital cameras on the... Endeavour, single engine press, 104. Single engine press, 104. Speed now 13,000 miles an hour, downrange 590 miles, altitude 64 miles. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Endeavour's communication signals now being processed through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Speed 16,000 miles an hour, altitude 64 miles, downrange 760 miles. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff, standing by for jettison of the external tank. Receiving live television pictures as Endeavour falls away from the external tank. Continue its climb to orbit. Speed 17,400 miles an hour, altitude 67 miles, downrange distance 1,000 miles. Endeavour Houston, we saw a nominal MECO, OMS-1 is not required. Copy, nominal MECO, OMS-1 not required. 